Well, Dave Moorcroft once had one of the great runs at that particular distance, and your time remains the second fastest of all time. But um, what was your view of that today? Well, uh, very brave, but, but the correct tactics. Um, because what he didn't want was people to sit on him and outkick him. And he hasn't got the greatest sprint finish. And it's always hard to run away from a field. But uh, although it sounds a bit ridiculous running that fast that early on, and it makes him suffer, it makes us, the rest suffer even more. And it takes an athlete of that quality to do it. It was the only way that a runner like him, probably without a great finish, could break up the field. That's right, yeah. And, and you know, the sensible thing you would think would be to run even pace and get a fast time at the end. But if you run a sort of suicidal pace or a very, very fast pace, um, it makes it even more difficult for the kickers. And obviously if it fails, it fails in a big way. But when it comes off like he did there and John and Googie in the Olympics, it, it's, it's, um, you know, it's the way to beat the kickers. From 800 up, it's Kenya against the world, isn't it? It is. They're very, very strong. I mean, the Central African countries have done well, the North African countries, Morocco and Algeria. But um, the Kenyans are putting it together in major championships now. They've always had good runners. They've always had occasional successes. But they went through a period in the 70s when they didn't really produce it that often in championships. But now they're doing it with far greater consistency. Yes. There's a tie-up between Andy Iki and uh, Liz McColgan, isn't there? Didn't they train together? Well, yeah, the, w and, and myself, we were coached by the same person, John Anderson, and Ondiki lived in Coventry last year, and I, I did a lot of sessions with him. And uh, unfortunately... Keep up with him, Dave? I was struggling. He was, <laughs> I mean, I could see then he was impressive. Yeah. But John Anderson um, no longer coaches them for reasons that go beyond running, but uh, his influence on both of them has been significant, although they might not want to <laughs> uh, admit that at the moment. But John Anderson uh, has had a significant influence on both of those people. Okay, Dave, thanks very much for the moment.